Hello, let me invite you on a tour along the Sumida River in the city of Edo, or present-day Tokyo. The time is about 200 years ago, and our guide is Hokusai. I'm Fumiko Kobayashi of Hose University, and I research literary text and illustration of Edo period Japan. You've probably heard of Hokusai, the famous artist, who produced many wonderful works, including the one known as the Great Wave, and the Tokyo Award in the early 19th century. He designed several picture books of noted places in the city of Edo in the 1800s, including the one I introduced today, Ehon Sumidagawa Ryogan Ichiran, or both banks of the Sumida River at a glance. As recent studies has revealed, it seems that this work was not published until 1816, probably because of the publishing regulations that prohibited color printing in books at the time. Where is the Sumida River? It flows on the eastern edge of Edo from north to south into the bay, now called Tokyo Bay, in front of the city. This is an imaginative landscape of the city in a bird's eye viewpoint by Kuwagata Keisai, who is known for his influence on Hokusai. The tour starts from the mouth of the river and a rosy sky at dawn with cowing crows with Mount Fuji in the distance. Some people are taking a boat, but let's walk up the river along the west bank. Children are enjoying flying kites, which was a typical New Year's game. We can see the island of Tsukutajima, which was a landmark at the mouth of the river. Here is the area around Shinohashi, the second bridge from the mouth of the river. Cherry blossoms are in full bloom in the foreground, which suggests the turn of the season to spring. Can you see the purple color used for the parasol held by the women on the left and Samata's cross as well? It proves how well this copy has been preserved for this color especially tends to fade easily. The wooden arch bridge here Ryogokubashi is very crowded, and so is the area in front. Stalls and booths are lined up there with banners to show that they are offering various shows such as acrobatics, mechanical dolls, and storytelling. This area was one of the most popular amusement districts in the city. Did you notice that the artist has applied perspective to the expression of the bridge? This technique had been introduced from the West. People are caught in a sudden shower, which is typical weather for summer. Those without umbrellas are rushing, covering themselves with clothes and something like a mat. The rain and wind seem to be so heavy that the people with umbrellas have to hold them up against the wind or even keep them half shut. Depicting rain with line is a common practice in Japanese visual arts, which may seem unusual to viewers who are more familiar with Western tradition of arts. Fishing was a popular form of amusement in rivers and canals in the city. Here, it's not just a boy and a man covering his face with a straw hat who are fishing, but also two young women are enjoying fishing on this boat and a big pine tree named Shubi no Matsu, which was known as a landmark near Asakusa. Further upstream of Asakusa was a tranquil area scattered with temples and shrines on both sides of the river, including the one here on a small hill named Matsujiyama. The season has turned to fall now, with the maple leaves changing color. 
finally, it has become winter and there is another shrine here, Masaki Inari, known for its gate facing the river. The contrast of the red and white is strikingly beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed the short trip with me along the west bank of the Sumida River with manifold landscapes depicted in bright colors by Hokusai. Thank you for watching.